Hello everyone, welcome to Die Party Golem's Curse, week one, episode one. Woo, we're back. In case you're wondering, this is the third season of Graham's Wonderful Tale. Hooray. Well, Graham, what is the actual name of this entire series? Like, have you come up with one? Does it matter? Yeah, kind of. No. Uh, not really. Okay, well, okay. I guess it's called Not Really. Um, <laughs> no, or maybe uh, if you want to give the whole thing a name, you should give a heads up to the GM instead of doing it last minute. Oh, no, I totally start. did. I totally did. He knows about that. It's a, it's a running joke. Well, the system is called Altuve Dimitrion. That's what the whole thing is called, and I'm sorry if you can't say it. That's your problem. Yeah, I can't say it. I'm Australian. So. Oh, no. So, I guess we'll all just conform to your shortcomings. Please do. Uh, so, as you guys have probably noticed, we are running a... Die Party 3.0 now, which is this fancy new layout. It also has uh, indicators of when people are talking, because I knew that uh, some of the uh, audience has mentioned that it was bad, that they couldn't see who was who. So, now you can. Let me go around and introduce everyone. Uh, up first, we have Jacob playing Yo. good old Engelard. Yo. We have uh, what, uh, Wreckage playing Roland. Hi. No, no voice? No, not today. Oh. <laughs> Roland's like walking around with Addy's helmet on for the rest of the episode. Uh, up next, we have Brian playing Ansel. Hello. Uh, we have a new player. Uh, no one knows who she is, uh, but her name is Game of Hey, guys. How's it going? Good, good. So you've been, you're like a long time watcher, I guess. So when did you start watching? What, like, do you remember? Six, seven months ago, probably. Yeah. Something sure. like that. Yeah. So, um, that is interesting. So you were like, uh, season one, I want to say? No. Yeah. Like halfway, probably halfway through. Wow. Jeez. Okay. Crazy. And, um, I will be playing, uh, Walza and half the brain of Pike, which is my, uh, Walza's bonded animal, who is a wyvern. And the other half of the brain will be played by our lovely game master, Graham. Yeah, I am lovely, aren't I? Yeah, you are lovely. Don't kill us this episode, please. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's, that's the entire cast and crew. Um, I imagine at some point during this episode, we will come across uh, Siren's character, in which case all will be revealed, including statistics, name, and what she looks nope. like. For, so. Forever a mystery. For, <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. So, um, yeah, so I make sure that we don't run into her this episode by continuing to not go anywhere. Let's just stand in one place. And if we hear anybody approaching, we run away. <laughs> um, so on top of this, uh, the, the game that we're running right now is a custom game made by Graham. And uh, Graham, you've made some changes since the, uh, since the last season. Do you want to go ahead and elaborate on what those are? Basic changes... One, you always have to say where you're aiming for. That way, location-specific armor is actually important and actually does something. Yeah. So, like, previously, like, Walzer was I'm running like, around with just a plate mail on on his chest and nothing else. Uh, he got dinged pretty hard for that. And, you know, it's going to come up more and more now. So. Yeah. Secondly, you can make unsk uh, checks and skills that you don't actually have. Um, normally, if you have the skill, the you have to beat 20. Yeah. And if it's unskilled, you have to beat 30. Yeah. So, um, skills... Were, and the unskilled check will still have all the statistics that go along with it. So, like, your attribute points and whatnot. So. Yeah, you're making the same check, just your target number is a lot higher. Yeah. If, you're, if you don't have the skill. Did, did but, Was the uh, skill bonus added onto it if you don't have the skill as well? Yeah, you're, you're rolling... Like, like some, if you don't have uh, boat right... Yeah or something, and it's intelligence-based, and your intelligence is, like, rolling is 18. You're still rolling plus 18, but you're, you're trying to beat 30 instead of 20. So on most skills, it has, like, the plus 2 or whatever from the skill. Oh, that still counts, too, yeah. But, okay, all right, then. And um, I believe the other one that we said that we're going to do is we're changing the way that initiative works, too? It's just, it's, uh, it's yeah, it's you want a high number instead of a low number. That's all it is. Yeah, so it previously... You'll be, you'll be yeah. subtracting weapon speed. Yeah, so... So the lower the weapon speed, the better. Still, yeah. Well, actually, I just noticed something. Is that we'll have to change that armor class indicator on the on the stream because it doesn't really, doesn't really make a lot of sense. 
Well, I mean, it's more like uh, for full suits and stuff like that, I guess. But yeah, I'm still working on how that should best be represented. Okay. Like, I think well, that's fine. I think the new armor for Walzer is like 19, but with his other stuff, it's like higher. So like, it, it's situational at best. Um, maybe we should just remove the AC altogether. I don't know. So yeah, we can do it later. Doesn't yeah. Matter. Um, was there any other changes that we've made since Season 2? Uh, other minor changes, no, it's not really worth talking about. Alright, fantastic. We've so. replaced Jacob with a Jacob robot. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, <laughs> Jacob, Jacob is sort of like... Oh yeah, I forgot about that too. He, he's yeah, he's J- sort Jacob's of like... Jacob's a, a priest now? Yeah, he, he job yes. leveled up. Yeah. <laughs> Engelard is a priest. Yeah, so did you want to go into maybe a little bit about that, Engelard, or...? Yeah, please do. I mean... It's not too much of a change. For the most part, it means I have a different um, list of um, what skills I can get, pretty much, at the mm-hmm. priest group now. Yeah. Um, I have two more um, base attack bonus. I no longer use long swords, because that's di- um, disallowed by my god. So instead, I'm using a battle axe. Crazy. Or both. So no one's using the, the 12-year-old drawing of the sword? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Such a shame. The 8th grader sword is being retired to... <laughs> <laughs> to the to a uh, stand board. above the um, fireplace. That blew it up. Yeah. All right. Um. And on top of that. And also, I did prayers. Yeah. Do you, we won't go into Which it now because I think it's sort of spoilery. But you you did have a a selection of uh, deities to follow, I guess, and you've made your selection. Yes. And that'll probably come into play pretty soon. Um. I guess I the, mean, last, well, the last. The thing is, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fast forward a bit like a week later than where we last left the party so mm. you guys will have had time to discuss what okay think large new stuff is so cool. we may want to just do it now so right. we can, we can well t- tell us about your new deity um England. i mean it's the one i've been mentioning before it's Riddell. Riddell. um oh, hold on i believe god of thunder or is it lightning god of, god i keep lightning yeah, I th- you said thunder before. I think lightning, one time. Lightning, thunder, Raider. thunder, lightning. What does it matter? Well, well Ezra thunder, was god of thunder lightning. and Raydell god of lightning are brothers. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, so yeah, I've, I am um, follower of Raydell, which means that well, there's like I can one of his granted powers that I did get, which I did get was coal lightning, which does what it sounds like it does. Coal's lightning. It literally. It calls down lightning if there's a storm. <laughs> and or, Graham's like, or something and now the entire game is being played underground. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I have, pray- I have other prayers. Yeah. I mean, I also, you joke, but... Mm-hmm. I mean, take, that, a, take a look at the background, if that's any indication. I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean the section's hey, all going to be underground, I mean, I mean, man. Yeah. That means I'm probably going to be... I'm probably gonna be near Earth all 24/7, so strength of stone still helps. Boom, get fuck Graham. No. <laughs> uh, um, and there's man- just This is all my idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually clay. Ah. No. Um, all right. Uh, I think I think that's enough sort of futzing around for the intro. Let's get straight into the meat and potatoes. Graham, what's going on? <laughs> uh, well, when last. Uh... We left the party. They they left Andrew, Walzer's father, mm. with the dwarves of the Gilvog stronghold, which they returned their stolen gold to. The whole point of last season. Yeah. Um. Yep. Your father, Andrew, uh, mentioned that it would be wise to seek out the other members of the King's Blade. Yeah. Um, because they are stationed at each one of the possible locations that Aelin was trying to use to summon a demon. Yeah, and that was, um, the, just to reiterate, that's the Lost Island of Kas- Kastanama. That's the one that's, we're going that, to... That's, that's one location. Yeah, that's the one where, where, where we've proposed the party's going to head to. Uh, right. The next one is the Temple of Elemental Evil. Yep. Um, near Hillsfar. Yep. In the Providence to the west. Uh, there's Quagar's Abandoned Fighters Academy. Right, that's the one I've changed. Oh, you've changed that? If, right. Yeah. If you recall, that's that's not true anymore. Okay, well, what is that one now? It's called Cascaton, spelled with the Q. It's mm-hmm. uh, it's in the same place, but it's Cascaton. Okay, uh, that's uh, in Providence as well, in Evertown. Spelled with the Q. Uh, and there, are, and then we have Whitestone, uh, which is on the coast, in the north part of Providence. Yeah. That's where the King's Blade is. Hanging out, waiting for him. You know, one, 
each member of the King's Blade is at one of those places. Um, and you're basically, you're going to go check on them and mm. see if there's anything untoward happening there. You know, you want to make sure that alan has gone for good. Yeah. Oh, well, mm -hmm. well, I mean, like, yeah. we think he is, let's be honest. Yeah, then. exactly. That's what I mean. But well, we're just following up on, uh, I guess... Did yeah, we get the uh, name for the guy at uh, Kastanamir? Yeah, uh, Grizzagon. 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 And what, what part of the blade was he? He said it was a hilt or something? Sure. Okay. Sure. <laughs> no, no, it says Grizzagon, the first edge. I actually have it here. Yeah, that's Grizzagon. what I meant. Yeah. Um... <laughs> So, I think we're going to, you guys were at the Gilvac Stronghold, so we're going to just quickly go through a lot of this stuff, is that you guys are all going as a group, now we've changed all that. Um, Lord Ragnar has given you 200 gold pieces to charter a ship to go to the Lost Island of Kestanimir, at least that's the idea, so he gives you this, a bunch, this sack full of gold with a money symbol on it, and, uh, and <laughs> then you, you, you got to go the long way around, because you can't go through Fort Mitchell, right? Yeah, because of mm -hmm. oil still hanging out there being a douche. Yeah, so you got to go three days around. Uh, well, on horseback, day and a half around. Uh, you stop at Wyvern Falls. Uh, Engelard puts up the sword over his fireplace. Kisses his wife, levels up. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> you know, he, he, he spends time with his family. That's how uh, it works. Yeah. Yep. Something like that. Um, and then you, uh, you travel to the capital city, which allows you, you know, while you're there, you can essentially get whatever you need, mm -hmm. any kind of supplies. And they, they make this trek. They have guides that go through the mountains. There's a mountain range that separates the capital and Emporium, the port city. Oh, so and, we're actually just skipping over the purchasing stuff? All right, that's cool. Well, we, we can talk about it if you, if you need something specific. Yeah, uh, a shield, a uh, phalanx shield that's heavy. Um, the armor, which I've forgotten the name of now, that I wanted. Brigandine. The, sorry, the what? Brigandine. Brigandine, yep. And uh, a new uh, Lucerne. Yeah, there were the and we thought about and pricing and all that. I yeah, I don't think we did for the total cost. <sighs> Six million gold. All of the gold. All of the gold. You cannot spend all of our boat gold on. No, our... no, no, I have more gold than the boat gold man. I'm like, I think I'm well, the richest character in the entire party. Okay, what, <laughs> like, are you buying a full suit of brigandine armor? Yeah, full suit. 120 gold. All right. Uh, where am I putting this? On your body. Oh. That gives, oh. that gives, Jesus that gives, that gives you, If you recall, that gives you plus four to all, uh, all parts. basically 19 to all yeah. parts. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to find it. Okay, so... Luke, uh, uh, new Lucerne Hammers, seven gold. Hang on, it's through Brigadeen Suit. And how much was that? 120. 120, and what's the weight? Thirty-five. All right. So divide that in half, and that I get mine. And uh, so the Lucerne was what? Seven gold. Okay. And the weight is still 15. seven. No, it weighs fifteen. Okay. Oh yeah, because it's split in half. Yeah. Um, and the shield. Cost seven. Really? Okay. What's the weight? Ten. And does that come under like heavy or light armor? Yeah, well, that's a heavy shield. No, there there are shield proficiencies. Okay, so I'm I'm talking mostly about the weight removal for Wazza. So no, no. Okay, that. all right, cool. So in total, that cost me a um, hundred and thirty-seven, hundred thirty-four. Mm, yep. Does anybody else need to buy anything? You guys can buy basically oh. anything you need to do any of these cities. Well, yeah, I, I have, I have five. Weapon. I only have five silver pieces, so no, I'm good. <laughs> 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 I don't think anybody else has any money. Angular has. No money. <laughs> I don't think I have I still have some money. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Do you leave anything with your family? Let's be let's be clear. Well, yes, I leave. <laughs> I leave <laughs> both. I left stuff with my family. Yeah, I only take what I need. sword. Yeah. Honestly, we'd probably sell that for a lot. Um, Engelard, do you need to buy new traveling clothes and or new colored clothes? Yeah. Um, what, is the, what is the color of your deity? Is it like... Gray and the old. 
grain. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking pimping, dude. You're like, you're gonna be like the pimp of the high seas, basically. Like, imagine like a lightning bolt coming out of a thundercloud. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh, wow. Mm. All makes lightning sense. bolts are white blue. <laughs> <laughs> Not in Ooh. Harry Potter. I pick up some. Sure, I pick up some clothes. I also have to pick up my weapon, of course. Yeah, that's true. I, a new yeah. weapon, of course. And maybe even not, maybe even pick up a um, throwing axe. So what do you need me to look up for you? Um, I believe the battle axe and the um, throwing axe. Battle axe costs five gold, weighs seven. All right. And the throwing axe costs one and weighs five. All right, I'll take both. What's it like to be rich, guys? Tell me. Well, we had to kill well, it, an entire it looks a lot wizard. Like this. So. You, just, you talk about what you want, and somebody tells you how much it costs, and you give it right, up. and you just get it. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, in this town, am I able to build what's uh, Ansel's? Yeah, Ansel's Ansel's uh, gear that he requested. If we take it down. Ah. Because I, well, figured... I, imagine, I imagine you would have done that in the dwarven yeah. stronghold. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Do I have to yeah. roll for that or anything? Um, I'm gonna make you roll because you're using exotic materials. Yeah, sure. And this is mostly to work out whether or not I fuck it up and have to use more materials, right? Right. Well, what are you trying to make? Uh, the plate. Yeah, and, breastplate and, and gauntlets. And mm -hmm. like the archer's gauntlets, whatever. So his fingers are free, but he can sure, like make, make a check for both. Okay, so just armor smithing straight this up. This is an arm armor check. Armor check. All right. So that is twelve. So this one's for the plate, I nail it, and Yay. this one's for the gauntlets, I nail, nail it as well. It. Yep. Nice. And that's used, would that, would that use up all of them? Yeah. No, I, well, I thought except, we had, like, the one that you have. Yeah. Right, yeah, you still have one. True. And, uh, and I didn't give you my trophy pieces, so... Yeah, you, that's the tail pointy bit, right? And the face plate. And the face plate, yeah. I sure. think... I'll hold on. I think I'll just um, store it in my house for now. That's a pretty good idea. I imagine. Okay, so who's idea. who's wearing the scorpion plate, breastplate? Uh, uh, Ansel, I believe. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the the breastplate and gauntlets, and uh, I believe we talked that that gives me plus six to my chest. That gives chest. You, yeah, twenty one to the chest. Yeah. Oh, twenty one to the chest, and for my arms or forearms. Same. Yeah. Same. Okay. Twenty one to the forearms. Fucking shit, dude. You'd I'm just. Like, I'm just. You'd be out of like gonna... just like. Oh, he's swinging an entire like exactly. train at me. I block it with my arm. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna smash people in the face with my forearms. Damn. Okay. Wonder Woman. Anything else? Anybody <laughs> else? So you, you, you hire you hire a guide uh, named Randy. Yeah, and that was uh, what two gold you said? And uh, oh, almost. Yeah, if you want to give him a tip. Gold. Yeah, I'll, I'll just. It, it was like one. It was like one point eight. I'm not gonna wor worry about like little currency, but it's a shame that I have like s small amounts. But I'm just gonna ta say it costs two gold. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Now yeah, look at everyone as I as I like open up my giant bag of gold and I reach my hand. I'm just like <laughs> mad dogging people as I like hand over like two gold to the guy and then I yep. zip it back up <laughs> and I put it on my fucking dragon mount so that no yep. one can steal really. it. <laughs> 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 the mountains that separate, there's no, not really, uh, there are pathways, but it is uh, very dangerous. There are all sorts of monsters and nasty things. Mm -hmm. there. DM. Yes? I get three sacks. I get a sack of sulfur, charcoal, and saltpeter. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> that heavy oh, breathing. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. <laughs> oh, God, saltpeter. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, how much is a sack? Uh, it's a, like a sack? I don't know. It's a sack. Yeah. How long is a piece of string by Graham? I mean, <laughs> do you want me to define the dimensions of a barrel? Or of a, of a bunch of apples? Or a basket? It but it's a sack. I mean it, it's a sack. Sacks have, are always the same size. They've been the same size forever. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need two gold. 
All right, I tell uh, Walzer to give me two gold. Oh, do you just? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much? Uh, yeah, all right, fine. I give him two gold. Fucking shit. I'm just the bank, apparently. Just the bank. You are the one with the money. Well, I mean, like, we can take it out of the, the charter boat funds. I mean, do you want a two gold less good boat? Because I don't. That's a two gold that's going to not sink. <laughs> I Asian swear to God, if you if you if you say I got two hundred gold, someone take me here, and then everyone puts their hands up, I'm gonna be like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh. yeah. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so um, is Do you that... give him two gold. Yeah, I give him two gold. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so there you go. You got some sacks. You have enough to make. Call it 30 explosive. Dang. Sacks are small. Nice. No, no, that's that sounds right. No, that's <laughs> awful. I can carry 15. I use 15 in a battle. I have two uh, refills. Oof. Well, do you want more? Well, okay, that two gold gets you 30, so what do you want? So you can have, that, those are the proportions. How much space does that take up? You know, what are we, what's the weight we're dealing with here? Three sacks. I don't know how much that is. You tell me. Apparently. <laughs> it, why? Why? You're the GM. How many? You never quantified. You, you never quantified much, the, many, the mechanism many, for which. How many? They are typically of, of stored. Uh, the chat right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. How many explosives do you want to be able to make? A billion. How many can I carry? Says Rollins. <laughs> a second. I carry a lot. I carry it all and more. I want to be able to make at least seventy-five. Jesus fucking Christ! Okay, so he makes Ansel his pack mule. Uh, yeah, Walzer, I need seventy-five gold, please. And I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's just thirty times two and a half, so five gold. Oh, five gold? Yeah, you can have five. That's fine. All right. Fucking Good. shit, man. Okay. I, I'm gonna put right here on the on the on the piece of paper. Owed five gold. Consider, <laughs> consider that loaned. Yeah. That's never gonna happen. No, <laughs> every day I'm gonna be like, hey Roland, where's my five gold? <laughs> every day Roland's gonna light a explosive and just set it down in front of you and like look at you like, do you know how to put that out? Cause I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's called. Uh, I take it and I pull the money out of the out of it and I put it back in my pocket. <laughs> So five gold, huh? Fucking shit, guys. Guys, okay. come on. So your Sherpa, Randy, um, leads you through a safe passage through Does the Does he mountains. have an accent, or is he just like, yep, I'm Randy? He's just a <laughs> he's, dude. He's, just a, he's an NPC. doesn't matter. My name is Randy. He has no, absolutely no personality. He only exists to take you safely through the mountain. That's oh, well, that's nice. Oh. Yeah. I become best friends with Randy. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like a great guy. Tell me about your family, Randy. Yeah, Randy. <laughs> We're not doing this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <that's fine. laughs> so you, guys, you guys are in... He basically takes you to Emporium, the big city. and It's the biggest city you've ever seen. It's even bigger than the capital. And there's all sorts of different people. Like, you know how Big Cove Walzer was like a melting pot of different kinds of... Yeah, it was like full of stuff. racism and shit, yeah. It's like that to like level 11. So level you see now. like... You see like full blood orcs walking around selling stuff and you see these dwarves and these elves and also like super tall half giant guy like mm. walk well, like walks past you crazy yeah uh, so a lot of these a lot of these things I've never seen before gnomes there's a gnomes there's a, you know four gnomes go by wow um, I don't know how Wolza would react to that actually I, I think he'd be pretty impressed that there are things that, out of his understanding, that he's seen. I mean, he might have read about them, but might not have believed they existed. Walzer can read. Yeah, man. Rolls is like what? incredibly intelligent. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I can quantify your intelligence with a number. Yeah, yours is eighteen, but you're <laughs> stupid as fuck. So how do we how do we deal with that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Roland is. 
Uh, I'll have you know that Roland is the only person who hasn't fucked anything up. Oh, and uh, is blown the up unfailable face. roll, I believe, is the one yeah, that oh, you fucked right. up. <laughs> so a roll I failed, but we're talking about intelligence here. I'm the only person who didn't have a stupid plan or do something like tell the guy what our plan was to his face. And then have it explode up in our face. That's true. You I thought that. I thought that. that Instead, you had a well. bomb blow up in your face instead. <laughs> <laughs> Every one of my plans has succeeded. Uh, yep. Sure. We'll we'll leave it at that because there's a whole season of that people can watch. Yeah, we so. don't have. Yeah, we, we don't have four hours. <laughs> yeah. Anywho. Let's go through every single mistake that everybody's made and every you guys, single mistake. You guys are mistake. in the city. What do you do about it? Ansel go to the boats. Rolling. Okay, go to the go to the ports. Uh, yeah, Weaving, I mean, like leaving an impenetrable, uh, uh, winding streets and steps and up and down, up this and down that. And so how around, different? Around the corner and, so you said this was big, right? But how much bigger than Bitcoin are we talking? Like, can I use like assumed knowledge of like? Definitely not. Okay, all right then. This is this is this is a metropolis almost. There are like five story buildings. Hmm, just not something. Like that is in like old time. hands, everyone. <laughs> All right. Um, so <laughs> certain parts of the streets are so narrow that the tops of buildings have met at the top, like they, like they do. So, do we have to leave our mounts and stuff somewhere, or is this like a, a big enough streets that we can walk mounts through? Um, nobody stops you. Okay. Does anyone have any like? Did the guards react to Pike in any way? Like, actually, no, they don't. Okay, interesting. Huh. Cool. Like, there's like, okay, seen it. This, this sounds like Tuesday. Yeah, I mean, we've seen <laughs> wizard orcs dig through the ground so you know whatever <laughs> um all right yeah cool um so i guess our first stop would be to gather intelligence about like what boats go where i guess um how do you expect to do that uh, is there tavern, like a port like, master do they, yeah do they have a port master or do, do they have a tavern where ship people go like on the well, on no. the docks or whatever there's, there's, uh, yeah like um dock taverns all over the place yeah you, you, you guys are getting ahead of yourselves we head to the docks. There they are. All right, we're here. What do we lots see? Of ships, lots of ships in the harbor. See if as many all the way up and down the coast. See different oh boats boy. of different, different sizes. And different I look flags. for the next ship that come is coming in. Is I see one coming in? Uh, yep. I head over to that that uh, portion of the dock. Okay. What about the rest of you guys? Um, who's got the money for the boat? I don't know. I thought you did. If I do, then... Oh, no, you left it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Oh. No, I mean, like, it, it's important, because if, if Roland grabbed the 200 gold, and he's just like, gotta go hire a boat, bye! And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's say I have the 200 gold, then, because that apparently is fun. Yeah. Um, well, I'll go, with, I'll go with you, then. Um, yep. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we're, just, we're just walking around, I guess, looking for a, yeah. an appropriate boat and a captain who can take us to where we need to go, I suppose. Might be a bit hard, though. Yeah, I mean, like, we've got, like, an instance of, like, we have literally, like, six mounts. Uh, one is a unique one, and then we have six people. No, not five people. The, yeah, five people. I mean, yeah. you're not to mention the fact Four how, people, um, yeah. I do know how, um, I'm not sure if you guys know, but I, but I personally do know that the reason why it's called the Lost Island is because um, most boats don't go there because there's um, a reef around it that would destroy any ship that gets near. Interesting. It, is, this, yeah. is this something that you told us before we, like maybe on the travel or something? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess it's going to be harder to hire someone to go out there. Maybe nah, we just have them lay anchor offshore and then we go on rowboats. Yeah, with our fucking mounts. Good idea. We're just going to leave well? the mounts on the boat and just hope he doesn't steal them. Well, you know, we need you need big rowboats. You need like long boats. That's what you need. Yes. All right. So we need. To are there find any a... ship? Are there any ships with big long rowboats <laughs> yeah. attached to the side? I mean, there's always water walk. You guys, are, you guys are getting ahead of yourselves again. Uh, Graham, have I made it to where that uh, boat is coming in? Sure. All right. I'm looking with my eyes for uh, the the harbor master who's going to come up and charge them for portage. Yep. Oh, there he is. All right. A kind of a thin, spindly-looking man with a he's got a sword on his belt and like no sleeves. Right, I wait for him to finish his business with this boat so I can talk to him without interrupting. 
He's he's very short, also. Uh, so if, if, if Wall is following me, he sees me walk to a point in the dock, look out for a second, and then like sit on a box for like an hour <laughs> while this guy takes care of that. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Starts picking the nails. Yeah. Can you even get to your nails through your armor? I'm not wearing it. Okay. Well, good. Do you think oh, I just wear a, the the uh, fucking full armor everywhere I'm gonna I go? I'm going to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ansel and Engelard, what are you doing? It's crazy. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm just, just standing on the side. I've, I'm I'm holding on to uh, my mount. Uh, I, I believe his name is Tim. Holding on to his reins and uh, waiting for someone else to do the deal because I have no idea how. There's a there's a puppet show happening nearby. Ooh, puppets! Oh, well, let's I'm all gonna, watch. I'm just gonna. Except for me. I'm, stick, I'm keeping my eye with, on that um, guy. I'm gonna stick with Roland Walzer. Ansel yeah. wanders over to watch the puppets. <laughs> and and the puppets a curse. Uh, you turn into a puppet. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they, they they make me drink some tea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, eventually the harbor master finishes what he's doing and starts to walk away from that ship. Alright, I go to intercept him. Hello! Ah. And do what? Can I help you? <laughs> Hello, good sir. Need something was... very busy here. Yes, uh, I was hoping, uh, I was wondering if you could direct me to uh, a repository of information of the ship's docked here. I'm looking what? for a vessel to charter. Well, I'm sure any of these guys are, are... I got the schedule here who's uh, leaving and what they're carrying, if that helps. Mm, what, yes. is, what, exactly, what direction are you going? Where are you trying to go? Uh, can I give him a direction? What do you mean? Do I know the direction? Sure. North. We're going north. How far? Not much out there. Uh, <laughs> again, I give him the, dir the, the distance... Exactly. That we were getting, like, oh, you know, it's about, Perfectly you know, quantified distance. 20 yeah. leagues, 30, 45, 45.5 leagues uh, north by northwest. Uh, let's just, let's just, um, it, did uh, Andrew tell me anything specific? Oh, by the way, did I get a letter from Andrew about this guy, the introduction? Mm. He, I did ask him for it, that in the last season. So. For the Grizzagon yeah. introduction. Grizzagon Not with the port master at this random port. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Okay, cool. Great. Um, so, did he tell us anything about like the best way to get there? Any any advice for chartering a boat? Anything like that? Because I assume the, that this the, sort of knowledge. The thing, is a... the thing is, every member of the blades does, or the blade doesn't doesn't know exactly what's going on with the other ones. Okay. Right? They kind well, of what, what, what about like specific coordinates on a map, for example? Work, a, did he map. give us how many miles well, here, north? Here's, how about yeah, he did, but. The thing is, is that where the island is supposed to be um, is essentially a half circle. So you can go, you can go north if you travel north from this point directly. You would eventually get to another part of Beechcrest, which is farther north. Okay. okay? It's like a half circle. Sure. But um, essentially, what's what the harbor master tells you, and is that nobody goes that. Everybody's going. Everybody goes around. The middle, because the middle there's an enormous circular reef that protects, doesn't protect, doesn't especially protect, but um, surrounds um, the so-called. He does some air quotes. Lost Island of Castanamir. Okay. Yep. Fair enough. No, no, sh no ship. It'll, it'll, you'll be hard pressed to find a ship going that deep into the middle. I cut. I cut to the chase. I say with the portmaster. We're looking for a ship crazy enough. To go to the lost island of Castanamir. Crazy, you know, crazy, eh? Well, well crazy, I mean, like, good. I mean, I, someone who is willing to take danger pay. Let's <laughs> just say that. Danger, eh? Yes. We got danger pay. Oh, yeah, we got we got plenty of danger pay. Well, I know that there's a there's one guy. He actually makes the trip quite often. Oh. Oh. Perfect. Well, how convenient. Yeah. What is it? What what is his? Um... He calls himself the pirate captain. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> now is he? Is he? Is he the? Oh, it actually starts laughing. 
Is he the he's captain? O- he's of over there pirates? giving a puppet show right now. Or is he like? <laughs> does he hunt pirates? Like, what type of a? What are we dealing with here? Um, he's got um uh, some screws loose, but he does he he returns, so he must get there and come back. How big is his ship? We have like six mounts. He 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 snorts, and he says it's it's that one over there, and you see a, a really huge uh, boat. And the huge boat moves out of the way, and you see a very small boat. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, okay, well, it's going to be a bit of a problem because uh, we have a party of four, and we have five mounts. So I'll take it up with the pirate captain. Do you happen to know anyone else, maybe, who is better equipped to take us there? Nope, you're already wrong, Walzer. You see, he goes there, and he makes it back to the dangerous island of Castanamere. Yeah, but if, if he can't take us there... We'll just have to lop out, lop off Pike's wings. He doesn't use them anyway. Actually, he does quite often, but that's besides the point. I mean, it's, he, yeah. the thing is, he's right. Uh, I tell you, I don't know anybody that's actually made that journey. in, I mean, in fifty years, I mean, if you go, if you go out that way, you can you can get pretty close, and uh, you see all of the a bunch of wrecked ships that have that are on sitting on the reef and skeletons and whatnot. <laughs> okay, um, that's interesting. Um, what about someone who's willing to do it for money? That is better equipped than a pirate. Well, I, I thought that's what we were talking about. Nobody's doing it for free. Obviously, but you know, we're not willing to just pay with chump change here. We're not skirting around this issue. We have money. I, apparently, have you're not lot. getting it. He's the only guy to do it. Yes, but literally, he cannot take all of us. Well, he can. We just have to leave things here. And uh, I, I know you're not that attached to your horse, but that's a stupid idea. <laughs> Is it? Because I, mean, I want to make it there alive. I, uh, I, I mean, I, I don't mind leaving Tim behind. I think he'll do okay. I, I, I think stole he was, Nitro less than a week ago. My he was, yeah, and I think, my, <laughs> I think Tim was the lamest horse in the stable anyway. So. <laughs> Tim I mean, just I looks at you, he's just like chewing a leave. carrot or something. He's just like... Meow. <laughs> How very nice. small is this ship that we've been pointed out to? Um, it's probably big enough, uh, conveniently, for uh, six people and one mount. Uh, well, we have uh-huh, five people uh-huh, uh-huh. and uh, ultimately convenient. No, we have four people and potentially two mounts. I don't know if uh, Jacobs is going to leave his war horse behind. So I mean, it's a really nice horse. Yeah. <laughs> Thing is, from the way I, from the way I hear, there's not much riding room around there anyway. It's pretty much just a miserable spit of rock out there in the middle of nowhere. So okay, I, don't well, know I, don't, I don't know why you want to go there in the first place, but apparently yeah, there's people do. West side, see us. Yeah, uh, clearly, and he, he <laughs> yeah, like he like looks at us like fully armored. He... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank right. you for your help. He waves his hand nonchalantly and he continues to walk away. Mm. All right. So I we go need to find the Pirate King. You gonna go sell your horse? Interesting. Yeah, of course I'm gonna. This is the best oh, horse in yeah. the stable. That's a good idea. I was just gonna leave my horse with the puppets, but I'll try to sell mine too. Yeah, you okay. need it. No, 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 you're, no, I think Tim should run free. Just really? drop the reins and give it a slap <laughs> on the rear. No, no, no. Tim would probably be like the type of horse where you drop the reins and he just sort of like ambles behind you still. It's like <laughs> harder to get rid of him than it is to like... <laughs> like, there, there goes the guy that gives go. me food. He runs headlong off the dock and in the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> you slap him on the ass, he literally <laughs> swims in the ocean and doesn't come back. It's like, <laughs> oh, no. Eventually we'll him meet him back. the island of Kistanamir. Yep, yeah. Yeah. Eventually meet him back there. Yeah. Okay, like, hey, there he is. All right. Okay, so who's selling their horse? I am. I- I'm going to sell Tim. I you sell Nitro. It. The best horse in the stable. Uh, Ingolod. The best horse, the best Wait, horse in the stable will fetch seventy-five gold pieces. That's pretty good. Bang! Tim, I make seventy-five Tim gold will pieces. Fetch only forty-five. All right, Ang- Ingolod. Forty-five how? gold? Yeah. That's I mean, the most money like, I've ever seen in my life. Horses, remember, there were there those were cavalry horses still, even though he wasn't the best. He's, yeah, horses, I mean, are, horses are expensive. Yeah, they are. That's why I'm this saying. This horse was a hate. gift. Yeah. I, I slap ants on. I, I slap ants on the back and I say, "See, Amy." Crime pays. Hey, Angular, <laughs> some, some, somebody, while they're, while they're selling their horses, are you around? I mean, yeah, I am. Someone someone tries to offer you 300 gold pieces for Oberon. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Oh, 
but to give you an idea, we didn't even get that much a, p a piece when we killed a fucking lich lord, basically. <laughs> so, That's not true. You got, you got, there was 1,500. So. We, we got 400 each, I believe. Well. At the end of that, all that. Yeah, we, yeah. Well, that, oh, you had another member. And okay. we only got 200 for stopping a civil war. Well, I mean, no, well, we got, no, we got 400 each, but that was in counting for what's it? Um, for Luke's. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Anywho. Um, so how much, what's the carry limit of people? Because I'm going to, like, oh my because Walza is, like, to give you an idea, Walza is probably the most equipped for, like, camping and stuff. And he's also the most equipped for fighting. So he has weight problems with, like, the amount of stuff he's carrying. So Walza's actually got another horse right now. He's got, like, two, he's got Pike and a horse. And the second horse carries a lot of his, like, yeah, just camping stuff. Graham? Yeah. Um, question. Can I make it just so I can know, um, can I make an economics check on that um offer for Oberon? Yeah, sounds good. Mm. Oh, you have economics now? Yeah, oh, I've he had it. He, he always has. I have, I've literally always had it. You think to the right buyer you could get twice that for Oberon? Oh, God. Because I mean, if if you're if you're really Oberon could be a show horse. He could, he is also a war horse. So he is the whole package. He probably he has like he is, he is top of the line as far as horses go. Yeah. Yeah. Which I, is part of the reason why I'm hesitant to sell. Would be hesitant to sell. Well, here, here's he the thing. Get. Here's the thing. I'm actually gonna stow my horse. Yeah, you can certainly stable any 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 horse. Yeah. That's that's the thing. It's either do I want the money or, or do I want? I mean, it was a gift, and it is a very. Oh no, the call went down. Why? Why call? Why? Well, that was sudden. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Uh, we're back. Ooh. It's whenever like someone like poops out of the call, and it's normally yeah, wreckage Spencer's recently. Still drop. Yeah. Yeah. Last mm -hmm. time, same thing happened last time. Yeah, wow. I don't know why. Anyway, continue. I mean, it's some, it's something kind of like it's a gift, and I don't want to sell a gift necessarily, but that is up to six hundred gold. Yeah. Um, how much is my horse worth? Because if you remember, it's actually from the stable of. Seven seventy-five, same as this. Seventy-five. Okay. Yeah. All right then. So I could could sell it for more and have more gold than everyone else combined. You could, yeah. But and then you could pay me back for the gold. That'd be nice. Pay you back? Yeah. Thing is, thing about Oberon is that he you can actually take him into combat, and he wouldn't he won't be scared by smell I know, or that's, fire or. That's. And you can actually the, yeah, he'll attack on his I'm, own. I also don't um do mounted combat though, but I mean I could I guess Walzer not, could not do, yet. do that. Yeah. I mean, I have Pike, so whatever you want to do. You do have Pike, I which have is... Pike. <sighs> Compared to Pike, how much of a... How much of a, a damage... Like, what's what's the sort of look at the um the horse? For, for Oberon? Yeah. Is it about the same? Do what now? Compared to Pike, that is. Oberon's... What Oberon Pi uh, Pike, Pike is essentially a Velociraptor with a scorpion tail. He doesn't do that much versus what Pike does. Okay. Pike doesn't do that much versus what Pike does. No, Oberon. Yeah. Oberon is okay. just a horse, but he will he will defend himself valiantly. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's up to you, man. Up to you. It's up to you. How much I mean, is stable? How much? Okay. Let's say this takes like a week. How much is stabling a horse? Uh, uh, in a place like in a crappy stable, like three silver per day. In a good stable, like a gold per day, up to a gold per day. And I'd imagine Oberon would need to go into a good, go a good stable. Yes. Yeah, he would. And what about like gear and stuff? If we stable a horse, does it? Do they stable like the saddles and the things? Yeah, attached yeah. To it? That's that 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 pays for essentially the stall and um, the grain and the labor to shoe it and whatnot and all that kind of stuff. They okay. take care of it. And and I'm talking like if I leave like the stuff connected to the second horse, like the tent and other things. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah? Okay. Um I also have another question. Um what's the name of the city again? I um forgot off the top of my head. What? Emporium. Emporium. This question is Emporium known for um I guess crime or or um, theft or something like that. Well, certainly most big cities are. Yeah, I'd imagine it'd have a lot more theft than you'd think. 
I mean, they, the, these, this is like, but this is like next level, like mafia type. <clears throat> organized crime. crime organized basically. crime. Yeah. You know, they have, mm -hmm. they have the different guild houses and the different trading houses. Yeah. I, okay, so is this the city that Oral wanted to go to? I don't know, that was Capital. It, it, the Capital and Emporium are very much similar. I didn't okay. waste time describing them both. because. Okay, very... so I, I tell uh, Inga a lot about like, how my brother Oral originally wanted to go to the Capital because there was a well-established Thieves Guild there. So I assume hmm. that it's probably going to be the same here. And that means that it sounds like with how much um, Oberon is worth... It sounds like it'd be dangerous to keep him stable, because I wouldn't put it past someone to steal him with how much with how much he's worth. Yeah. Well, it's up to you. Sell him or not sell him. Um, either way. I will look. I will at least look for a buyer. For the price that I know, for the price that I know is um, good, six hundred gold. Fine. How long yes. are you guys staying in the city? How long are you guys waiting? I think we need to wait for. Spencer to come back because that's kind of what yeah that's thinking. why we're just elaborating yep. on this thing now so because that, that, that would probably take you multiple days to try and find the right buyer for that price that's fine well, not me, well even yeah I imagine we're still going to be going through negotiations as well with um pirate and I mean if, if he probably just got back so see if you can throw in the negotiations for stabling my horse as well yeah so I think I would I think I'll be um, going through, going through and trying to find the right buyer for Oberon. As I also want to make sure that he goes to well, a pretty nice place. He's been, I mean, do there's you, been some weird. Go, do you try to go to the rich district. Pretty much. Okay, that's fine. You look, you look well to do enough. Do you have a? You know, it's more like there's a quite a big separation between the the rich and the poor. I imagine. I imagine, yeah, and and. Essentially, keeping it down near the kind of like the low city near the docks and and taverns and whatnot, and bordellos. Um, you know, just not many people paying. There's a lot of people looking at the horse, like he's a you know commodity. Yeah. And then uh, in the when you go to like um, the rich part of the city, trade districts and the merchant districts and all that, um, you see other horses that look kind of like Oberon and you know look as good as him and. Yep. You I see would, um, somebody. You see, like a, um, um, you see, like uh, somebody riding a giant ant down the street. That's pretty. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I take notice of that. By the way. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. Like he sees um, me riding Pike down the street, and then he, he, I see him riding his ant down the street, and I'm like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we like finger gun yeah. each other as we go past. Hey! Turn on the head. Yeah. I mean, when I see that, I, I probably, will, I probably will just for sheer shits and giggles. I want to know what the fuck. If that's just a normal giant ant, or if that's a weird, a weirder giant ant. So would Monster Lord reply to that or no? Is that Siren's character riding a giant ant down the street? I see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, anyway, but venture either. Yeah, he's here now. I'm here. So uh, they were they were trying to find a buyer for Oberon, but that will take multiple days. So I don't know how long you're trying to wait. I thought some guy offered him 300 gold. Yeah, but he can get it for 600. If you if you probably worth it. 600. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I would see how much the um, horses that are looking similar to Oberon are going for. I mean, I just you know I'll just take the ship and go, and then I'll come back and see how it's going. <laughs> No. no. <laughs> well, think of all the gear you can buy, uh, parts of bombs and stuff with people. He's not sharing that 600 gold with me. I, I was, I mean, I was going to, um, since, not anymore. No, <laughs> no, no, no I, I was trying to work this out. My, I got tongue twisted. I mean, the Oberon was not originally mine, so I wasn't going to keep all 600 for me. Okay. Um, I was going to give, I was going to at least some of it back, obviously. It's not, it's not necessarily mine to keep. It's mine. It's mine to be able to use so that we can actually continue this and actually make sure everything's safe. But otherwise, we'll some of it will go back. Yeah, some yeah. of it's only meant to my family. Some of it, if I'm keeping for myself, the rest of it's being is to be used by the party and to be given and to be returned. Oh, wow, that's very nice of you. Hmm. So uh, you find essentially like a, a number of different auction houses in the merchant districts, right? Right. So somebody's actually somebody's willing to give you the three hundred, hmm. and then ten percent of whatever he fetches in an auction. Hmm. That will take place at a future date. 
How much are... I mean... Uh, what's the future date? Like, what are we dealing with there? Like, uh, two weeks. Damn, I don't think Ooh. we can wait two weeks. No. We can't wait two weeks, but... We can so come back me, here. Can I get a... Hour. Can I get... Can I drop a contract with him so that, um... Right. So yeah. I can ha have a written, um, document? Yeah. Is there yeah. any skill for writing a document like that? Uh, well, there's there's law and administration in the priest group. Okay. Um, but he, I mean, there. If you want to try to analyze it, that would be that untrained check. But he's he'll he'll write it up himself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. As, as, as the merchant. Yeah, I would uh, give that a go. Um, I mean, unless I can probably pitch it up. Yeah. I've also got like Bazarak and whatnot, which is like you know, and and I used to do a lot of retail. I guess I don't know. Walzer was a blacksmith, and if you remember correctly from his character creation, he wanted to. He was dealing with customers a lot as well. So I want to know sure. if there's like, if I do an unskilled check to like make sure that this contract is legit and that he's not going to get fucked. That um, well, yeah, we'll see. Okay, that's, uh, that's intelligence. Okay, I mean we could all. I mean we could all take a look at the contract to make sure that we don't get fucked. Well, I mean, like, you know, I don't think it's applicable to have everyone roll intelligence on this, so... You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, plus, yeah. Alright, it's up to you, man. Whatever you want to do. I mean, if it looks... That's probably going to be the best deal um, I'm going to get, but... It might be, actually, bureaucracy. Bureaucracy? Yeah. I bureaucracy? Yeah. Mm. Same, same check, but still, mm. just saying. How much... Paperwork. <laughs> yeah. How much would that cost? Hmm... I'm not, I mean, I'm willing to spend the points just to make sure, but... It is 600 gold, so, I mean, like, if, you will, if you're going to burn some XP to make sure you get 600 gold, that's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's 10% of the auction, and, you know, who knows? True. If you make 600 at auction, you get... It'd be only 360, true. Yeah, that's yeah. true, yeah. Is there anyone so else willing to... I'm going, to, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to tell him I'll keep the auction open... And I'll just see if I can drop a contract, but I'll get back to him with it soon. But first, I'm going to see if there's any other deals, option, if there's any other offers. Yeah, so at this time, um, unless you're willing to wait quite a long time for the right buyer to come along, that's pretty much as good as it's going to get for mm. right now, for this for, for a short time frame. Just stable the horse, man. If you have a skill yeah. that would allow you for something like information gathering or some just other... Stable the horse, yeah. you got gold up the wazoo. Mm -hmm. It's only gonna cost like six silver a fucking week, man. I mean, there's truce. I mean, I have no. Remember, I would have to go to the um actually nice one. Yeah. Like a gold per day. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's like that's like yeah. That's, that's like the uh, that's like the uh, you know, the four seasons for stables. We're gonna we'll be back in a week. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I got, I always do have persuasion. Oh, that's good. Maybe. Get it yep. down to snake oil salesman Engelard, the priest, selling off a <laughs> horse for like seven hundred gold when it's only worth six hundred. <laughs> so yeah, I think I would do. Pers I mean, I guess I could do. Um, could I use persuasion or diplomacy or something to just get some form form of information gathering? As a priest, I'd imagine you'd be pretty good at sh making people shill out gold. Well, no, Raydell's <laughs> Raydell's priest. Raydell is, is a different kind of deity. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have too many um, you don't ask pits for patients. Yeah. Quick to quick to anger, and he's more of yeah. a like, combat priest. Yep. But anyway, but, um, let's do persuasion. All right. What are you trying to do exactly? Oh, 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 oh. Persuade the guy to give him more on the down yeah, payment, sure. I guess. Sure. It could be more. It could be more, and it could just be um, for more. See if I can get anything, information on someone else for anybody that would be interested. Sure. Persuasion's plus 14, for some reason, roll 20 refreshed. No. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's probably going to be the best I can get. 300 plus 10%, that's what you get. Well, up to you, man. I mean, like, you don't have to worry about the horse anymore. I'm going to stable mine, so you will have a horse that you can ride at some point. In the future. Um, yeah, and I doubt anyone's going to steal yours. No, no one's going to steal my horse. Well. It's a fucking, like. So season I... four is Pike was stolen? No, no, no. Pike's <laughs> not getting fucking. No way, man. Pike's coming with us. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. I think I'm just going to see if I can get the guy to go for 
I don't know, I guess I would ask if it did die to know for 430 gold plus 5% of the auction. That's actually pretty cool. Mm, that's not bad. Yeah, he's, yeah. uh, give me another persuasion. That'll be something different. Alright. There we go. He actually gives you 508%. No, yeah, he'll, he'll give you, yeah. yeah, he'll give you 430 plus 5%. Okay. Alright, I guess, um, and just so I'm clear, there is like, uh, th these auctions do have like written documents, whatever, detailing what got sold, sold at what yeah, time. Yeah, at, at this level, at this, at this high of society, yes. I'd imagine that it would also okay, have that's... like a written document of the horse's like history yes. and background and grooming yep. and that sort of stuff an, too. An so. impenetrable, a pedigree essentially. Yeah. Yep. An, an, and an the pedigrees should be pretty good. That, yeah. Nothing is misplaced. So yeah, I, I think I would reach that deal. 430 gold plus 5% of adding two weeks or whatever good. you got for the sale. Good. All right. And then the, the, the form is drawn up in, in, in multiple copies. One copy is given to you. One is he keeps and the other is given to like the, the auctioneer. Yep. All right. And no. um, then... I would have examined it, I guess, to make sure. Do what now? I would have examined the uh, contract, giving it to the plan. So it would be untrained intelligence, and I have 15 yeah. intelligence. You need to hit 30 to pass this. There you go. Yeah. Nailed looks, it. Look, looks, looks fine. Nothing, nothing is untoward about it. Cool. Yep. Yep. I tr After that, I guess, I would say... Um, I just say my goodbyes to Oberon. Yep. Kiss him he, on the uh, lips. He, he he's he's a horse, so. Yeah. Yep. Well, I mean, just give him, pet maybe um one last little bit of food for me and then leave. He okay. really likes carrots, you say, as you walk away slowly. Yep. And sad music. <laughs> but, like, the yep. music is, like, interspersed what? with, like, the jingling of your fat ass wallet now. <laughs> like, oh yeah, it's just like I'm walking away really slowly, not because it's sad, but because holy shit, I'm leaning way down. Yeah. <laughs> He's over encumbered with his gold now. <laughs> well, yeah, certainly. I mean, you've got I, you've got essentially a, a a a chest, right? A small, a relatively small chest, but a yeah. chest nonetheless. Pretty much. Four hundred right. gold pieces oh. in it, which is so really heavy. I want. You can you can strap that to Pike. Pike's pretty lightweight these days, so. I mean, um, I would also probably try to send some... Is there a way to send, um... I, I don't know, I was trying to ask if there's a way for me to send some of the gold to my family. Not not safely, typically. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, who are you going to trust? Like, what, are you going to yeah. pay them to not steal your the gold? The guy with the ant, obviously! Are you kidding yeah, me? Obviously. <laughs> God. He's riding a fucking uh, ant. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Like, um, Graham, before we go to yep. break, um, I'm also going to stable my horse. For okay, I, Here's what I'm going to do, though. I'm gonna give this is stabling before we get on the boat, so it only counts the, in the time that we leave. But I'm gonna give him a week up front and then pay for whatever time left when we get back. Sounds good. I mean, he he tells you that he can just keep track of how long he's there, and he can. And I can just pay. Charge, charge you when you get back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do that. Yeah. And that's also so that's taking um, it's taking everything off me aside from whatever's on Pike. And um, I'm going to take the water skin with me. As yeah, well. and obviously your armor and what. Well, yeah, I mean Pike. Pike has you know saddle, saddlebags, bridle, short bow and whatnot. Um, and, uh, and then I have my own encumbrance that I add onto Pike sort of thing. So you know it's a legit. And then I had a horse too, which had my other stuff, which is like the tent and you know just assorted nonsense like that. So. Sure, Angelard, what what are you doing with that gold exactly? You put it somewhere else. Probably on I mean, Pike. Since I mean, I don't know. I'd, I'd probably need to store it with Pike then, since I it, doubt it there's going to be I mean, something it, like... It weighs, it weighs almost 100 pounds. Fuck! Mm -hmm. Oh boy, is there a... Is there oh boy, a bank? Yeah, like, is this yeah that's what I was going to ask. Is there a bank yeah. or something? Mm, yeah, this in this high of society, yes. Alright, I'm going to... Need, I guess I need to um, open an account then and just deposit at least some of it. Now, in case you die... That's a lot of yes, money. Yes, yes, you're already in the will. You're already in the will. No, I mean, like, is there like a fail safe? So, like, like, how do these banks work exactly? You you leave it here and they charge interest, however much it is, five percent. Yeah. Like a week or something, or like five percent, like. Oh, it's literally just like a holding stuff. Whatever. It's just holding. You can't like go to another bank down the down the coast or whatever and get it out again. Do they give yeah. you a key or a slip of paper? Like what, yeah. what are you hanging yeah. on to? They'll give you a key. A key, like a key to a to a locked chest. Yeah, all right. So it's chest. literally like buying a safety deposit box then. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's cool. Mm hmm. Five percent's kind of steep, but I'm not storing the whole gold. I'm storing some of it. 
I'm right. storing what we definitely cannot carry, and I'm going to keep the rest and put on Pike. Damn, dude. All right. So what, like, you're just going to take 100 gold with you or something? Probably something like that. Yeah, right. Okay. Cool. And I think that's a good place to take a break. We will come back with us talking to the pirate captain, I guess. Well, we'll come back with, with, with our new character. Okay. All right, then. Oh. All right, guys. We'll be at the top of every hour here. We take a break so that uh, players can powder their noses and whatnot. Um, if you're enjoying what you're seeing so far, make sure you give the channel a follow. It really helps us out trying to grow the community here. But we'll be back in three to five with another three more hours of this. Don't go anywhere.